What's happening? Welcome back to another episode with Beer Times with Scott. Today I've got a product review from a company based out of Birmingham, Alabama. They are an outdoor based type company. Today we are talking about Mad Yak Grooming. They, are, they have men's grooming and apparel for outdoor adventures. That's on their card here. The owner of the company is an awesome guy named Kevin. He reached out to me to do a product review for him. He sent me out quite a bit. I've got eight things of eight bars of soap. I've got 12 bottles of beard oil, two separate types of lines. So let's go over all of it today. The oils, one ounce oils, $15.99. They sell their soaps for $7 and they're around about four ounces, 4.25 ounces it says. They sell t-shirts. They have this one here, which is backwards, so you can see it in the mirror. It says Beer Narcissist. I think it's a cool looking shirt. They have their logo shirt, which is the yak itself. This, the, the they call this the mirror shirt, is $21.50, and the logo shirt is $25. Shave soap. I don't know if we should even talk about that, about a, being on a beer day channel, but anyway, it's $16 for that as well. And again, they have two separate lines, so we'll get into those. So I want to talk about the soaps first thing today. I do not have all of the actual soaps in front of me. Mandy and I have been using these for quite a while. And as you guys know, we do not buy our soap at all from Walmart or any type of chain store like that. We buy our soaps directly from not necessarily small batch companies, but companies that I review. I call them smaller companies, so to say. They're literally hands-on base and it's not chained out and things of that nature. You know what I'm getting at, don't you? He sent me out eight of them. I've got a few of them here in front of me. The, the two I have in front of me, I have not used. And I've actually held them off because these are the two that I really wanted to try. One of them is a sandalwood scent. The other one is the pine tar soap. We don't have to talk about me and the pine tar soap. You guys know that that's one of my staples and what I stand by one million percent when it comes to growing this beard out and taking care of it and your body as well. So I have not actually used these two yet, but I have, they have a Cade, which if you don't know what Cade is, it's a campfire scent. It's a really deep campfire scent and it actually has some charcoal infused in it as well so it looks a little bit on the black side so it's got that exfoliating experience as well the one they have that is my favorite is citrus and cedar it's an orange cedar and spices it gets you in the mood for the holiday a little bit but it's also a little bit of all worlds in the bearding and for cleaning as well a little bit of orange for the citrus woodsy for the cedar a little bit of spice just to spice it up mandy got she used the fur and spice that one she absolutely loves she really, really enjoyed that one. I've got two notes, cheat sheet notes here. And I'm going to screw this up. Kalalau. I think that's how that's pronounced. That one was a lemongrass and herb one. And I actually used that one. You're going to think I'm crazy because I'm not the biggest lemongrass fan. I used it and I really enjoyed it. Koala's Breath, which is a peppermint tea tree, or excuse me, eucalyptus and tea tree. Mandy absolutely loves that one. She's a big fan of tea tree anyway. And, and eucalyptus. When she saw that, she grabbed that one. The pine tar I'm reading here, it's a pine tar and an orange. Keep in mind, I will use it in the future. The sandalwood's just sandalwood. And then they have a peppermint tea tree one, and Mandy claimed that one as well. What can I say about these soaps? They last quite a while. I mean, they are the size of this box. So you're getting a full 4.25 ounces for the bar of soap. That's sandalwood. That's money. That is just money. Mm, I absolutely love the smell of sandalwood, and that's pure sandalwood. I like that a lot. They clean very, very well. Some of them have the charcoal exfoliation inside of them, and that's cool. I think that's a great thing to use. Some of them do not, and they're just, you can see the different spices and such that are in them. The scents are very, very deep. They're not strong, but they're just deep scented. They don't last very long on your body. Just, you know, I'd say a good hour and then it kind of just withers away off of my skin. But it is, this company makes one of the best soaps that we've ever used. And I talked to Kevin yesterday before I filmed this. And I told him, I was like, you now have a full-time customer in soaps because we absolutely enjoy your soaps. $7 a bar of soap. 
Now, keep in mind, I do know that people do go to a store and they buy a big old container of soap. That's not for us. It may be for you, but if you're into the soap thing like she and I are, Mad Yak Natural Soap is definitely the way to go. A very solid two thumbs up for your soaps today, Kevin. We absolutely enjoy them. Now let's get to the beard oils. I've got 12 of them to talk about. So we're going to talk about his original line. What he did was he made four of them. He made four to start out with. They're $15.99 a bottle, one ounce, one ounce glass jar, or a uh, one ounce amber glass bottle with your resi resistor inhibitor reducer, whatever you want to call it, with the screw off cap. Fairly simple. The label is oil proof and water waterproof. I'll go ahead and tell you that. The ingredients of these four. We have apricot, coconut, grapeseed, sweet almond, jojoba, hemp, absinian, argan, castor oil, castor oil, fragrance, and rosemary extract. So we're going to go ahead and talk about all four of these. We have an evergreen, forest mint, dark citrus, and eucalyptus tea tree. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the eucalyptus tea tree. What more can you say about it? I mean... This is a beard oil that has great properties for your skin, not necessarily just the scent alone. Tea tree and eucalyptus are some of the greatest things you can use to put on your skin, and I think that's exactly what he was going for, but also the outdoor scent and the, the feel of that as well. This is a good damn, a damn good scent. I really do enjoy using this one, and you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of tea tree, but... I do know it has great properties for the skin, so I've been, okay, let's try it some more. When I got this one, this one I actually like. My my taste in liking, or for liking old beard scents, beard product scents, is changing. It's evolving just like anything else. This is a really, really good scent. It's definitely an outdoorsy type scent. I really enjoy it. Dark citrus, it's orange and, uh, orange and dark patchouli. And I've used other companies who have had a, rep or, um, a scent profile like this. And I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's orange and it's patchouli. You really can't mess it up. It's a safe scent. The patchouli isn't very strong in it at all. It's just enough that you know that there's patchouli in it and the orange is just the same. It's a very well-balanced scent here. Forest mint, peppermint tea tree and woods. Pardon my dogs. My wife must be home for the day. And this is exactly what I thought it would be. It's it's a, it's a very clean, pepperminty scent. It's minty, fresh. It's got the tea tree profile uh, properties in here, and a little bit of woodsy scent. And I think it's, I think it's like a like a like a little bit of a cedar scent in here. This is a good one. It's a great manly outdoor scent. This is the one I like the most. Evergreen, evergreen and lavender. Refreshing. This is straight refreshing scent very clean scent as well if you are looking for like a fresh clean scent this is the one for you and this is actually the first time i've used evergreen in a product this is a go-to for me i absolutely love this one and these beard oils here are a little bit on the thicker side keep in mind there is castor oil in here and and he and he it told me himself that this what he this one was he wanted to be on the thicker side so let's go to the second batch, which I have seven of these to talk about. Eight, I'm sorry. I have 13 oils. My mistake. We have 13 of these to talk about total. I'm going to start at the back here. This one I'm going to start out with first because this one was actually talked about in my Oud Scented Products. that I uh, My favorite Oud Scented Products. Deadwood. This is Oud Ocean Air and Ocean Water. And before I go any further... There are only a few carrier oils in, the, in this blend, here, in this line here. Coconut and glycerin, argan oil, sweet almond oil, and jojoba oil. It's a smaller base. Definitely on the thinner side. And the oil is pretty much as clear as you're going to get because I don't really see a color on my skin at all. So definitely on the colorless side. I don't even have to smell this right out of this bottle. I've smelled this before. I've smelled a other companies uh, use a scent like this. I'm not saying that they ripped them off or anything. This smells like 
almost like a cologne. I, when I smell this, I, and, and I've said it in my Oud video, I smell almost like a cologne that I've smelled before. It's, it's like a lure. And I don't think that Kevin went that way, went that route with it, but that's the type of smell that comes out of my nose. So that's subjective. So keep that in mind as you're watching this or making your purchase. It is a really, really good scent, I will tell you. You guys know that I'm a big fan of Oud. It's in here. I think it is the essential oil. I, I could be wrong. It's definitely essential or fragrance, but I think the essential oil is in there a little bit because I, I really I can smell a little bit of the woody type scent. And when you use when a lot of companies use the scent the fragrance of oud, it's more like a cologne esque scent. I'm getting a little bit of wood the woody in here. I like this one. Now, I don't think I'm going to pronounce this one correctly. It's Havasu, Havasu, Bergamot, Citrus, and Lavender. And see, this is the one, this is the one that was probably my least favorite of all of these. And, and, you, and you might think I'm, that might be surprising because I am a big fan of Lavender. It's a very clean scent, but when I smell this, it almost reminds me of like a detergent. Like a detergent or a fabric softener. I do not have a problem with that whatsoever, but that's just something that I wouldn't want to wear in my beard all the time. You got that kind of like um, tart or sour citrus scent in here with the bergamot and just a regular citrus as well and the lavender. It's a really good scent, just not one of my favorites. The next one we're going to talk about is Creek Water, and he calls this Water, Crisp Air, Herbs, and Greens. Now this one... It's almost like a cologne to me, like a really light, subtle cologne. Very surprisingly, and it could be, it could be that he's kind of fooling me, putting some crisp air in there or something. I'm not 100% sure. That was just a little joke. This is a subtle scent. It's a, it's, I call it like a crisp scent. That's exactly how I would describe this. And I do get the herbs and the greens on the very back end of that. That's very different. I'll put the lid on that after the video is over. Chocolate smoke. This is one that surprised me. I'm not the biggest fan of having food scented products in my beard. I've said it before. I've said it tons of times. This one is going to surprise you. It's got chocolate in it. Uh, you can smell it right out, right out of the gate. It's got vanilla in it. But then that sweet smoke that he puts in here, it almost gives it like a subtle cologne scent, which is totally, totally surprising to me. This is one that I've used probably second most of all these here. This is going to surprise you. Grizzly Funk, the next one. Now, this is different, and he calls this grizzly bear fur. That's what it's made of. Pine tar, cedar, oak moss, fur, berries, campfire, sandalwood, and spices. This is basically the outdoor experience pretty much all in one. And that's exactly what I get from it. I mean, I do get the campfire definitely out of the gate. I get I get the berries and the oak moss. I get all of this like all round up into one. This is almost like it's the ultimate outdoor experience. And if that's what you're into, this is Grizzly Funk is definitely for you. Kona, blood orange, citrus, and mango. Citrusy scents are starting to grow on me quite a bit. And this one does as well. I get right out of the gate the mango and the blood orange. That's the, I'm almost smelling them neck and neck. And it's a really, really, really good blend. Kevin, you're tearing it up, man. Wild blackberry. Blackberries, greens, and again, that sweet smoke. The blackberry just stands out. It really does stand out to me. It's almost like a you smell like a blackberry wine. That's like, like my first instinctive uh, response to that. That sweet smoke again. You get that in there, and it's got a little bit of like a little bit of a cologne esque scent. I can't really explain it. Kind of like just dark. This is a definitely a keeper as well. But I will say this last one I'm talking about is the my most favorite one that he of all these that I've used. Sweet honey tobacco, honey tobacco and vanilla. It's just plain and simple. There's a specific reason why I like this the most. This is, to me, the closest thing 
that you're that I have found that smells identical to a very fresh tobacco leaf. It almost has like a floral scent to it, and I think that may be because, like I said, it's almost close to like a tobacco leaf. I've smelled tons of pipe tobacco scents. You guys know that I'm a humongous fan of tobacco. It's probably my number one favorite go-to scent profile that I use now. It's got honey and vanilla, so you know it's got the sweetness in there. But that tobacco, is, like I said, it's almost floral. It's tobacco all in one. It's a very unique, complex scent with only three things in it. And there may even be some kind of a floral scent in here that he didn't tell me about. Who knows? But this one... This is the cat, the cat's needs, the cat's pajamas right here. That's what I wanted to say. This is the cat's pajamas. So that's the set profiles that we talked about. The pricing is $15.99 for these oils, $7 for these soaps. To me, that's almost like an average market price. You can't really go wrong with that. They have nice shirts, as you can see, and they're those soft material. I don't know the actual name, 50-50 blend, whatever you call them. So you got, you're getting nice quality shirts. We don't talk about the shaving soap, obviously. But the feel and beard. When I use the first four, I can say they are a little bit on the thicker side. And that's fine. They, 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 I don't want to say, I don't want to say to, to slur you the wrong way. They went in and coated the beard very well. So I, I could feel it. But when I use the new line, it's almost like you're just had, you have air in your beard. Like you're wearing nothing. This is one of the best in-feel in beard oil companies with this new line that I've come across. Every one of them I use, I was like, man, it's like there's nothing there. And that's what I really enjoyed the most about all these. The ingredients we talked about, and there's nothing out of the ordinary that I'm seeing here. And he's using oils that not a lot of companies use, as the apricot seed oil and the abyssinian oil. I don't see a lot of companies using those. There are some, but... He's using really good ingredients. Would I buy or recommend these to you guys? Absolutely. I definitely would recommend this company to you guys. And what's my rating for this company? Today I'm going to give Mad Yak a very solid two thumbs up and a four and a half out of five star Beer Times with Scott rating. This is a company that has... A lot of beard oils for you to try. If you like thicker oils, they have four of them for you. And they have a thinner line with not eight cents here. And I really do think this is a good company to, to try out. Like, because I know I get a lot of I get a lot of guys there, they like the they want the woodsy scents. You could get away with using any of these for an outdoor experience if that's what you're looking for. Mad Yak has your back 100 percent And I wanted to I wanted to thank Kevin for giving me the opportunity to do this review. Um, I've had these for quite a while because he broke them up into two packages for me because he was in the process of making the second line. And if I had to pick my favorites of all of them, I have to say Evergreen for the thicker line. And for the new line, I would have to say the Sweet Honey Tobacco. And I'm going to have to say the Grizzly Funk. The Grizzly Funk was good. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of citrusy scents. They're starting to grow on me. And what am I going to do with these products? I'm honestly going to tell you guys. I'm going to keep a few of these. I'm going to pass them along to another bearded gentleman. But the soaps, they're pretty much already spoken for, except for these two. Me and Mandy have used all of them. And it's a really good company. I think you should give them a try. Again, I'm giving them a solid two thumbs up and a four and a half out of five star Beard Times with Scott rating. I do not remember if I have a discount code with this company. If I do, it will be linked in the description box below so you can use it. If not, go check out Mad Yak Outfitters either way. Follow them on Instagram. They'll follow you right back just like I do. And thank you again for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. Keep on bearding, and I'll see you in the next one.